All right, text man 365 2007 Paul Austin's here. What's up, y'all? I just wanted to sit here and maybe show off a little bit of Mafia 3. Um, I played a decent little bit of it already. I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys how the gameplay is, you know, see maybe if you might want it. I don't know. I understand there are other ways you can watch gameplays and this, that, and the other, but I would like it if you chose me. And if you did, thank you very much. All right. Oh, I guess it, he has started it all over because of other PlayStation. That's right. I played this on my other PlayStation. Still trying to get that one repaired. All right. Well, you know what's coming then. <laughs> What's going down here? I got a nice little alligator. Oh yeah, that's right. Started off with the heist. Yeah, this is cool, man.
Keys in another room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. All right, square, you gotta hold it. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through mm -hmm. with the truck just like mm -hmm. we asked. He agrees his partner to make it look good. If you got guys, I'll take the chance. I don't know, what would you guys do? Oh! Well, I didn't know exactly what we were supposed to do there, but... We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. I like the old school whatnot. Oh, do I have to? I had, I think I actually had to tap on the accelerator to get it going. Hmm. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. The old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I'll take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, you're probably willing to do it a second time. I'll fuck you in the process. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. So come on, you gonna answer the question? You're gonna attract the cops. Well, that blast, I was saying. The blast oh, the guy got the into me. We uh We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting him onto a medical ship. And this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp. And the MP stops her, tells her he can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some gook getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault, but not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. No way I would have thrown my baby over for a pig. I don't care what kind of situation I'm in. Wow. I don't know, maybe those Vietnamese did deserve being a battle. I don't know. Anyway, I was trying to stop there. Probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of y'all. I'll just leave it under the seat. to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Mm -hmm. Yep. Looks good so far.
Oh my bad. I had to do that. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Now right, here we go. Put your IDs up to the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burn room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. All right. Man, these guys are already talking that racist talk. He wasn't joking. Gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all was over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. And that old nigga who staggers in is hired on the spot. Bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. It doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. Those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. I guess the job done. Only time hey, you're gonna like how this one goes. Fuck, that's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Told him I wasn't interested. I never was neither till I saw this. At least with oil, we don't get soot all over the goddamn place. Used to be we'd have a nigga come in with a hose, wash all the shit off the walls. Oh, wait for just a moment. Hold on, I think he's supposed to go a little closer. Am I supposed to do it like that? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's very brutal. Oh, I ain't coming back from that one. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. Go ahead and pick that up. Make sure he doesn't. You know, at least be in direct. Right, you take care of those guards. You. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, we get cover again. X. You know okay. house we've been renting out. Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. Told them I to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me. Saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice. That's how we supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's It's a lot of gold, man. Yes, sir.
Yes, sir. Wait for you to get closer, it is a shotgun. <laughs> that was nice. I think he did a couple 360s there. <laughs> out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! This is oh, no. I can get. No. God damn it, why won't this open? Am I supposed to do it, I guess? Give me that damn thing. Way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Got off the got him. Suspects on the move. Here he is. Mmm, beautiful car, beautiful car.
Baby's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, we've been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. Shit! Oh, what man. You doing? Like I was saying, I won't. It'd be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how it gets. Excuse me, of course I know the cops, you know, that or that. Come on. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin and that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the hollow in Frisco, just selling the French wall. No, ran George the red, white, and fed in front of them. They didn't do anything. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah, all right. Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here or I ask you the back door.
Oh, just go to bed. There we go. Come <gasps> on, oh, Playboy. <laughs> so I gotta go up front. What am I doing? I'm gonna go up here somewhere. Where'd it go? There's the staircase.
Alright. Well, that gives you a basic feel of how the game rolls, at least, you know, how it looks and how the storyline's gonna go. Um Welder most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't. Like yeah. head, but well, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one right here, and then I'll pick this one back up later. Uh, yeah, I just don't want to, you know, like I said, make the videos too long and you know, just stretch it out. It just doesn't seem right. Uh, anywho, um, this is Paul Austin's Text Man 365 2007. Please drop a like on this video, man. It's really, uh, I'm gonna like the Mafia 3. I've already played a decent amount on my other PlayStation, like I said, had to restart. But it's okay, we can restart together. You guys can look at, you know, how it rolls. And uh, I appreciate you guys uh, watching the video, man. Love you guys. Paul Osmus out.